does something different from the groom. It isn't the bride. Because he's flesh of his flesh, bone of his bone, life of his life, power of his power. She is him. As man and woman are one, the woman taken from his side. She has taken the spirit, the feminine spirit coming, the flesh from his side. They both mechanic and dynamic. The wife, the Virgin Mary. She did the opposite of what Eve did. The fall happened because a woman walked away from revelation and took sensation. But that that day, Mary turned away from sensation and took revelation. Hallelujah! And the Holy Ghost came down and pregnated the womb of that woman. Brother, do you know there's a bride here tonight? Because she's got revelation, God has sealed her in the kingdom, and now she has not only revelation, but she's got a Holy Ghost sensation. Hallelujah! She don't run after fleshly sensations; she's got a Holy Ghost sensation. You say what sensation? The same sensation that fell at the day of Pentecost, which is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings, but I ain't interested in all these anointed ones trying to explain this prophet to me. God don't need nobody to explain this message. God needs us to preach this message and say exactly what the prophet of God said, and you gotta believe exactly what he says. Any man that tells you, I don't care if it makes him upset or not, but any man that tells you he's got more than William Branham, he's a liar and the truth ain't in him. He ain't saying what a prophet of God says. We ain't got eight messengers. We ain't got seven and a half messengers. We got seven messengers. And William Branham is the last major word prophet. And he introduced Christ. 